Although it was a luncheon organized by MP Dr. Robert Lewis for the elderly folk of the Castry South constituency, inevitably the hot topic of the day came up for discussion, the state of St. Lucia's economy. The MP for Castries East, who is also the Minister for Infrastructure, made it clear that things are not easy because St. Lucia is in a financial crisis. However, Mr. Philip J. Pierre pointed out that St. Lucia is not alone in its financial woes, indicating that the President of the United States just recently signed a bill putting 750,000 federal workers out of work, about five times the population of St. Lucia. Mr. Pierre told his audience that the U.S. move was linked to the need to cut the country's deficit, which in the case of St. Lucia is at 10 percent. According to him, St. Lucia has one of the largest deficits in the world. So things are not nice. The country is in a financial crisis and each one of us have to get together to deal with that crisis. The government, Gouvernement par de Pierre Twaka, a person, a bad person. Gouvernement par Goumet, the government is not at war with anybody. All, only what the government is saying is that give the country a chance so that it can get better. Mr. Pierre said he was pleased to be at the luncheon for the elderly because the activity demonstrates that government also has to take care of the less privileged in the society. The former Commerce Minister says the government needs money to do a lot of things, including opening the new hospital, providing work for young people, and fixing roads. Le gouvernement dit pour pas antichans. Give the government a little break. Mais le copain, c'est pas mauvais gouvernement mauvais. Gouvernement pas qu'a dit c'est nous voulons faire mon, nous voulons faire la vie plus bon pour tout gens cette ici. And you here, who is at to avail, you who have worked, who is at to avail to to fair pay here, mute, nouvelle remercie. The luncheon at which Mr. Pierre spoke used to be organized every Christmas for senior citizens of Castries South, but was moved to around Independence time. The luncheon, which is into its seventh year was originally introduced by the late former MP for the area, John Odlum. Mr. Odlum was buried on Saturday. For the DBS News World, Alex Buske reporting.